guys, it's the Upstate Dog Guy, and as promised, we're going to make weekly videos of our new Doberman Pinscher Nugget, and kind of talk you guys through some of that stuff, and hope these will get shared around and help people with puppies. Starts off with structure, guys. Let's just talk about some structure. So, we don't correct puppies. We're not about correcting them, we're about creating a relationship and a bond and teaching them what you want. And I do that by shaping behaviors with the dog food. So I've got an area to set up here because the puppy is going to have accidents and it makes it easy to clean it up on this rubber mat. By limiting his space, I don't have to worry about if he pottied when I wasn't near him. Potty training at the Upstate Dog Academy is done through confinement, taking the dog outside for exercise and play, and by limiting their movement in here, even when we are paying attention to them by having them on, you see I sit here, put him on a long line, and I limit his movement. Uh, also, I engage with the puppy, okay? So we've got different chew toys, just a few different textures. Uh, this has got some plastic in it, balls for fetching things, uh, something nice and soft for chewing inside of his crate, and then I have to leave him inside the crate, and just kind of like a makeshift flirt stick that uh, we use for playing with the puppy. Um, He's had his nails done. We've been dremeling his nails already, and it doesn't take long. We just do a couple nails at a time, so he gets conditioned to it in a positive way. So what we're doing is we're setting the dog up to do the things we want instead of waiting until the dog misbehaves and does all kinds of things we don't want, like, and then trying to change those behaviors. So you can see how Little Man will sit for me, because I, again, not going to take him out of here until he sits. And I've consistently done that, so he's consistently learned that. Um, let me get his little bucket here. And he knows I've got his dog food. So just to let you guys see, we're working him for dog kibble. And we've had him for just over a week. So let's show you what he's learned and how we're going to shape some new behaviors out of that. Good boy. So the first thing Nugget learned was to sit. And when all four feet are on the ground, he can have that reward. Good boy. Good sit. Free dog. Nugget, come. Good boy. He's going to race into me, guys. He wants the food. Free dog. Come. I'm just using that word over and over again to condition it. Nugget, come. Good come. All right. What else is Nugget learned? He's learned what down means. Good. Good boy. Down. Good. Um, week one, guys, I literally had it on his nose, down between the toes. We lured him into the position. You probably caught that video, maybe. If not, it should be available. And then we started throwing our hand cue. Now the hand cue looks like this. Good. And then I come in and put the reward there to keep him in that down. Free dog. Uh, his potty training is going really well because of the confinement and limiting his movement and taking him outside. He's figuring out that I like it when he eliminates outside. Good. Marker word is good. And I've just been teaching him to target this bucket. Good. Free dog. Up. Good. We're going to use this. Free dog. Up. Good. For hind end awareness uh, and teaching him, you know, a good heel and a good, good. Nice loose leash walking. We're working on teaching him just body movements here. And honestly, guys, a lot of this is about teaching him to target my hand. As he's learned to target this hand, that's what's made it where I can give him my hand cues. Good boy. Free dog. So uh, he's done some stuff with his crate. Let's show, him, let's show him what you do with your crate, buddy. And then we'll wrap this video up. Good boy. So I like my dogs. Good boy. Come here. Crate. To SIT here without asking for it. Watch him do it. He'll figure it out. If not, we'll ask for it. Nugget, sit. Sit. Good. Okay. Good boy. Now let's watch you guys see that shaped. Crate. Nugget, sit. Okay. Good boy. Great. Good. Oh, 
Okay. All right. To keep this short, we're going to stop and do one more here. But all I'm doing is luring the dog in with his word crate, waiting him out for a SIT here. Close the crate. He's holding that for me. I had to open and shut this a bunch of times. It's not the first time we've done this with Nugget. Okay. Good boy. Now I'm creating the energy that I want to come out of my crate instead of having this dog dive out of that crate, run around the house like a bat out of hell, knock over my coffee table, and then me go, how do I get my dog to come out of the crate? Nice. I started at eight weeks. This dog will be over 100 pounds. I don't want to fight with a 100-pound dog. Good. So shape the behaviors you want, then we'll train the dog. Follow along, we'll throw up another one of these videos next week, and we'll show you how we're gonna continue this week by week by week. So when he is a 100 pound dog, we have the animal we're looking for. Thanks for following, guys. I'm the Upstate Dog Guy. We're the Upstate Dog Academy. We'll see you soon.